Hello again, Skillery's, except for we don't have Carissa today because she's sick, so it's just me and Adrian. She was eliminated from the family. She was a no, she wasn't eliminated. Okay, <laughs> um, today we're making the Home Chef Culinary Collection. This one's the fried chicken and cordon bleu sauce with mashed potatoes and garlicky broccoli. So let's begin. Okay, so you can wash the chicken, or you could do potatoes, or you could do broccoli, or you could do garlic. This will be garlic again. Okay. It probably just needs to be minced as usual. Yeah, mince the garlic. So. Oh. Okay, so sometimes they give us really big cloves. Sometimes they give us bigger cloves than this. And then this package is some small ones. <laughs> okay. Now I get the potatoes ready to boil. They gotta be cut up. I don't know if that potato is gonna be good. Video, but I haven't saw the name for it yet. Oh, I'm helping to finish the storyline soon, but then I still gotta do all the other work. Probably that goes with it, yeah. I'm actually I'm have two I'm working on. One of them's the full version of Happy Family Hug Day, and the other one I haven't saw the name for it yet. And those are after the usual episode. <laughs> It's gonna be a funeral because somebody dies. Oh no, who is it gonna be? Yeah. Is it gonna be Peppa? Is it gonna be Mirabelle? <laughs> okay. It's Mirabelle! <laughs> cut these in chunks so they cook. So they can boil up. She's gonna pretend to be happy if Mirabelle dies, but then she's craning so you can tell she's crying. She's upset, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it'd be just sunny. She's really happy. Yeah. What's that weird one? Oh. Ew! Let's we'll see what this one looks like in the outside. I think it's just, luckily it's just that outside. <laughs> Maybe inside. it was growing up against a rock or yeah, something. Yeah, it must have been growing, growing up against something. <laughs> okay, well that's a relief. That one's not gross. So I'll eliminate one of the potatoes from this round. Okay. <laughs> yep. Eliminate, just like we eliminated Krissa. I don't know if he's going to do the face up to the camera like Krissa usually does. Nobody. <laughs> Oh, you might wash these potatoes, they're still making dirt on the board. Maybe okay, I need to scrub them with a scrub brush. <laughs> scrub, 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 till the water turns brown. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's get these potatoes all cut up. So I go in the water pan over here. I have over here.
and then cut the oh, other stuff. Okay, so that needs to boil so these potatoes are soft. And you have to fry the stuff that needs a little bit more grease. The home chef usually does provide the oil. I like that they provide eggs too when there's dishes with eggs in it. I got to, let's see, I'll probably do the chicken because you'll probably want to do the broccoli, right Adrian? Okay. So I've got to rinse the chicken and I've got to rinse the broccoli and then make sure there's no really big pieces in the broccoli. Mm, yeah, you get the big one for that. I'll use the small one for the meat. Should I do mine first? Yeah, go ahead and do yours first. Oh no, I cheated and jumped ahead. So let's do that because then I have to clean the sink after I do the meat, so. Make sure there's no meat residue left behind the sink. Meat residue. <laughs> oh, it's just not the same as Carissa. Huh? <laughs> You're like, no. Okay, one more bag. Let me get my cheese. And then if you see any of those big pieces cut in half. So is it okay to have brown on them? Uh, if it's a big piece of brown, you could try to cut that off too. Looks like they didn't give us very good ones at this time. Cream facine. Cream facine? Fracy. Brace. What did they even say? Frey, frey, whatever they're trying to say on that. Does it say from fresh? Does it say fresh? It doesn't look like it says fresh. It looks like it says. Frey. Oh, I think they did mess up on that one. <laughs> whatever it says, yeah. No, they're just stuck together. Oh, the layers are stuck together. Oh, okay. Go ahead and wash the wash. Wash the broccoli. The preheat oven does not mean that guinea pigs get anything. Well, maybe you guys can have a brown piece of broth. <laughs> Broccoli. <laughs> Wait, you can have mine. I dried, cleaned it and dried it off. Wait, what did you say? Oh, it's just with potatoes. Because I just have chicken left to do, so. I don't need it for the chicken. <laughs> she is. Her life just falls apart when she doesn't get her beans. Why did I wish? I would wish for beans. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. 
Oh wait, I don't need to make a plopping sound. It already makes enough plopping sound on its own. <laughs> chicken. And it's already very, seems like it's very friable already, just fall to pieces, so this is going to be fun. I like to pop Smashing it with that chicken bitch. with my hammer. <laughs> Y'all don't see how this could possibly go wrong, cause I like to see Ow! What's <laughs> happening? I picked it up and hit the cabinet. Ow! Ow! That hurt. I went to grab it and hit it and then hit my fingers on the cabinet. Feel sorry for me, give me 20 thumbs up. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's get back to the smash the chicken. This is very fun, not. Well, some people might like it. Or like it. <laughs> yeah, probably. some hot water and soap. with hot water and soap so the raw chicken was in there I'll put some dish soap in well then that should do it okay back over here so now I gotta start pounding the chicken to flatten it I mean, it's like, this is not that thick, so I shouldn't have to hit it too much. Some of the chicken breasts will give it a little thick. Yeah, that's good enough for that. Well, the plate. Chicken. This one's a little bit thicker.
servant, so we have six breasts. tenderizer hammer I'm using. I'm not Mjolnir. Yeah, not Mjolnir. Sorry. So, this is the flattened chicken. never need that much. I usually use like, I'll only use like about one cup. Otherwise you get really mushy potatoes. I don't want mushy mashed potatoes. Goes get some extended the broccoli, huh. and then it'd be two, oh, so two tablespoons of oil. Three pieces. So I get a pan so the chicken can be fried. Oils in. I need this big pan. I need with this big pan. The chickens. Once they're flat and get bigger. So. This recipe right here is mainly they're doing it for two chickens. Do the math yourself. Yep. Do the math yourself. I guess if you're if you can cook, you can do the math. <laughs> A meal kit for people who don't know how to cook. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We got just every single thing pre measured to the right amount of servings.
So I'm going to get a plate with pink up on it. on a costume this year, so I guess we'll just have to throw some together. Hello. You're the first. But I am getting older. You could have got the vampire costume. I didn't want the vampire costume. <laughs> the Morbius costume. <laughs> Pinko's going on the plate. Well, that looks like a good amount. Sometimes they do not give us enough Pinko. They give us like tiny little bags and then they take to both sides. It's like, really? Fish, chicken, because the chicken all of a sudden turned into fish. And we don't want to really eat that. That brown stuff really looks gross. So, yeah. Go ahead and put um, two tablespoons of oil on it. Go in there to test it. It's not quite ready. And three um, pinches of salt, and then mix it all together and toss it in the oven. We have to make a gravy for it. Okay. Oil's ready. Pink little chicken. The treat side is coated. Press it in. This one.
мурчик. The chicken's all in the pan. All right. Darn, it's just gonna keep falling to the bottom. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Just, just get the oil mixed around. Okay. Oh, I don't have any foil. Did I order foil? So good. Put it in there. Yeah, put it in there and put it up for 15 minutes. That's right, I need to get the groceries. I have to order the foil, huh? I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Or didn't have it. Oh, I didn't have it. Then you look at all the nonsense I wrote on the list. Yeah. Uh, we're supposed to keep the kid chicken warm with foil, but we don't have foil, so I don't know what to say. Mm. Can I give this to the guinea pigs? Yeah, you can give that to the guinea pigs. I like it's get in there. I know this is giant pans all taken up by the chicken. So I'm gonna turn it off for now and turn it back on when the chicken's done and it's ready to do the mashed potatoes. Okay, potatoes are done. 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 done and ready to drain. So it will drain them and we should be smashing them. In the pan, you'll be adding this, you'll be mashing them and adding this and adding that water. Oh. Wait, should I put that in first or put it in that one? You can mash it a little bit first and then put it in and mash it again okay. since it's only one of you today. Oh, there's the chicken. I just gotta make the gravy. Adrian's making the mashed potatoes. I'm going to clean the pan out so there's not so much grease in it.
Okay. So while she's mashing that and put the cream in water, I gotta come over here and make the gravy, which so needs two thirds, one three cups of water. Cream cheese, and I gotta get a spoon with it. And then Aiden putting the cream and the potatoes over here. Finger. Nope. <laughs> so after you get the cream and water in, you're gonna need um you're gonna need one and a half teaspoon salt and three pinches of pepper. Alright, so I'm gonna mix the cream cheese and I'm gonna melt it all. Melt it all into the water. Yeah. 
Turn the heater off. Well, I do have sweatpants on. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Reduce to low and then combine shredded cheese. Okay, so then we have some shredded cheese. Swiss. there. And that gets all melted and up in the pan. And these are a lot of work for these recipes if you don't like to work. Yeah, this is not, these are not for you. A lot of steps, a lot of things to do. So that's all melted in. And now, let's see, bacon. Half the bacon goes in, and the rest goes on the top. You know, I'm just gonna throw it all in, just so it's in the gravy, and just pour it over the stuff. Oh, that bacon's kind of burned. This one, they burn the bacon, and it's like, it's like really dark, black. It's beyond extra crispy. <laughs> So we got three packs of these bacon. Mix it in with the sauce. Oh, you forgot to put the timer on. For the chicken, I mean for the... You forgot to put the timer on Oh no, on it's gonna be burned! <laughs> Check to see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, it's done, I think. Yeah, okay, turn so the oven off. It's turning brown, so I'm pretty Good sure. thing I looked over there. I was like, wait, it should have been done. <laughs> it should have been beefing. I don't think you told me a time to put that in there, though. I said 15 minutes. Uh -oh. I think you just didn't hear, though, because you were asking if it was going on a lower rack. What put on here? No, I didn't ask if it was going on a lower rack. I just put it... I, what rack? You asked what rack? No, I didn't. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Okay. Oh! Well, there goes my spatula. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. So sad. The kitty head fell off. There's no real reason, way to put it back in there, I don't think. I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna stay on. I'll make Chris wash it, and then when the head falls off, she'll freak out thinking she broke it. <laughs> oh, that's something I can do to <laughs> Okay, so now we just gotta get the dinner roll put together. <laughs> I'll show you guys a plate put together. I clean up some of this mess actually out of the way. Cream cheese mess. Plated. It's not 
dirt in there. Here, go ahead. Oh wait, wash my hands first, yeah. Oops, let me get this off right here. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, that's done. Did I have to wear the snow? Why do I always do that? What? I put away the broccoli special that we were saving. Darn! Why do I always do that when I'm cleaning up? Okay, so I got some of the broccoli garlic. And the chicken goes on. I'm gonna get some mashed potatoes. So this is what it looks like before the gravy. Got some gravy on. And there we have it. Yummy. Okay, thank you for cooking with us. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe for more of our cooking videos and all our other videos. And we'll see you later. Goodbye.